Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial slash review. I have a straightener curler item here and it is this from Amazon. So if you guys have seen that commercial or infomercial for that brand called Time, it's like T-Y-M-E, this is supposed to be a dupe for it. So I wanted to test this out and see my thoughts on it and how it works and if it could actually like curl my hair like that other and if it could actually curl my hair really nicely I'm always looking for curling options you guys know majority of the time my hair is curled so if you guys want to find out my thoughts on this iron I will link this down below it is from Amazon please keep watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not yet hit the hit the notification button if you guys have not hit that yet you will get notified every single time I upload in like email it'll also pop up on your phone so let's get on into it. I have not done anything to my hair yet because I wanted to just kind of do the whole tutorial with you guys on camera. So let's go. Okay, so my hair right now is just my natural hair, which I will show you guys. I'll stand up so you can see better. This is my natural hair. It's just like kind of a beachy wave. I actually have really been enjoying wearing my hair natural. I like the wave um, and it just kind of reminds me of like a crimped iron but relaxed so I'm into it I like it um and I haven't even been curling my hair that much brand reached out to me and wanted to send me this iron so thank you to this brand for ridden this is not sponsored they're not paying me they just sent me the product so I could test it out and I thought it looked cool so that's why I wanted to try it out a lot of times different brands will reach out to me and say hey do you want to try this and a lot of times it's like things from Amazon but I only pick things that I'm interested in and I think that you guys would be interested in too so just so you know I'm not like every time someone sends me an email like hey review this I'm like no I only pick things that I actually would want to make a video on and share with you guys so I thought this was interesting because of the fact that it was a dupe for that iron the time if you guys have heard of that comment down below um, I have never tried it before I've just seen all the commercials so it can straighten and it can curl. So today I'm going to do the curling portion. And then also if I need to, I can like straighten the ends of my hair. But the ends of my hair are already pretty straight naturally. So I might not have to. So I don't know what I'm doing. I have not used this before. This will literally be the first time. Let's open this bad boy up. I do need to plug it in. But I didn't want to plug it in and uh, burn my hand off. So here's what it looks like in the box. This retails for $65 currently has almost five star reviews on Amazon it has about 1800 reviews so when I see that something has a lot of reviews I feel more confident in it I'm sure you guys feel the same way so it's nice they actually give you little clips to clip up your hair which I've never seen that before in a straightening iron so I like that so let's take this out so we can actually look at it so here's what it looks like you can see it has like the roundedness to it which I guess helps with curling there's the straightener part you guys can see that on the inside so let me go ahead and plug this in and then we will get started with seeing how it works all right guys so the first thing I did was I just put my hair up in a little claw clip because I like to section out my hair um, and then what I did was I just put some heat protectant spray in it just so I wouldn't damage my hair too much. This is the one that I use. It's the Tresemme Heat Tamer. I've been using this for years and years, like forever. So that one's great. And then I just went ahead and I plugged in the iron. So you do have to unlock it. There's a little unlock button right here. And then what I did was I turned the dial to the heat that I wanted. It's actually pretty interesting how it is. The bottom is where you turn. You guys see that? You turn the dial to whatever your desired temperature is. So it says off and then it has 250, 320, 355, 410, 450. So I put it up to 450. I always typically put my iron up to the highest heat setting because I have thicker hair. But if you have thinner hair, um, then I would recommend doing something lower, maybe like the 355 or the 410 just to be safe. So I'm going to let it warm up and I think when it's done blinking, on the bottom that means it's ready for me to go in and start curling so let's see I was looking at a quick video on how to do it and I'm a little scared I hope I will be able to do it it's like you're supposed to clamp down the hair bring the hair back and then twist it forward Oh, 
But I think I did it, you guys. I got a little curl, but it's only at the end. <laughs> you guys see that? It's actually, okay, let's see if I could do it on this piece of hair. So you put it in the middle, you bring the hair back, and then you twist it till it's facing down and make sure it's in the middle so it doesn't slip off the iron. And then I just bring it all the way down the hair, but I'm doing it slowly because I think if I go too fast, it doesn't form the curl. Oh, there we go. Okay, it took me like a couple tries to get it, but for some reason I feel like it's just curling the end pieces. Do you guys see those two curls right there? Those are the ones I just did. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try it again. I'm wondering if the speed affects the curl. I'm literally trying this for the first time, so bear with me, you guys. We're learning this together. Okay, so I'm gonna clamp it down, bring it to the back, and again, make sure it is clamped in the middle of the iron because before I had it too close to the front and it was slipping off the iron, especially if you have longer hair. Just drag it all the way down. Oh, there's another little baby curl. All right, let's see. Just rotating the wand all the way around. It feels really, really weird at first. That's actually really pretty. It looks a lot different than the curls that I get from my curling wand, but I like it because I wanted to have another style of curls that I could do instead of the same old. So this might be a nice alternative option just to get a little bit of a different style of curl going on. Okay, so clamp it down, bring it back, twist until it's forward. It's gonna feel really weird at first because it doesn't feel natural. Oop. Little baby curl. Okay, so this is the first side. I actually like it because it's more like a loose curled wave. Like you can see it's more on the bottom rather than the entire thing being curled and I actually really like the way that that looks um pretty and then if you have any pieces that are weird here like I have this that's a little bit weird you can just go through it with a straightener and that's the beauty of it is that you have both functions so I'm just kind of going over it and you can hairspray it if you want to but the sun's shining through sorry about that um you can just kind of run your fing fingers through it I don't really use hairspray on my hair, so uh, I'll probably just leave it as it is. All right, let's try this side down, bring it back. It's always weird going on a different side. You have to get used to it. And then twist it forward, and then just same thing, drag it down. And I'm just, again, holding that bottom piece. Hopefully this side comes out decent oh okay we got a curl there all right so there's that one kind of fling it over to the back take this section clamp it down bring it back twist you'll feel like when it gets to the front and slowly drag it down it's like golden hour right now so if my face is half yellow that is why Ooh, that one came out really nice I kind of just let it go on its own to see what would happen that curl that might be my favorite curl so far <laughs> if I had to pick one clamp it down forgetting what I'm doing bring it back totally just forgot and then twist it forward rotate the wand Slowly drag it down. So I'll show you guys. I'm still holding the piece of hair, but when I get to the end and when it's time to let go, I'm just going to let go of the hair. And we have a fun curl. I feel like the curls are coming out better on this side for some reason. 
Okay. This is so fun. I cannot believe this is my first time like trying this. It curls it more away from the face if you do that. Let me see if I could do it again. So you're basically just going in the opposite direction of the flip. So again, it's going to feel really weird and unnatural. So I'm holding it, clamping it. Instead of flipping it back, I'm flipping it forward. Twist until the piece is down, facing down. And then again, just drag. I did lower the heat, by the way, to 410 just because it was my first time using this iron and just to be on the safe side. Ta-da! Okay, the curls are coming out way better. I don't know if it's because I'm getting more used to it now and I know what I'm doing, whereas this side I was like unsure and timid, <laughs> but the curls are definitely coming out more full on this side, like more of full length of my hair. Clamp, I'm gonna bring it forward, twist, 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 like that. You're just doing like a 360 rotation. And then I also feel like where you put the iron determines where more of the curl is going to be. If that makes sense, so if I put it more down here, the curl is going to be more on the end of my hair. That one came out so good. Why are the curls coming out so much better on this side? So I finished this side and you can see, like, look how much curlier this side is than this side. I'm going to run through it actually a little bit because I don't want it to look crazy uneven but you can see the difference like obviously when my hair is more curled it's shorter <laughs> when this side is more so it's like on the bottom but the curls are so pretty I am like so impressed with how it came out um I just wish I had more uh that they looked more similar but again this is the first time I'm doing it. okay so my hair is <laughs> crazy I wanted to show you guys also in the package it came with a teasing comb with like a little wand to separate your hair and then it also came with a glove which is nice if you're starting out I don't use a glove um just because you know seasoned pro <laughs> just kidding but in case you guys need a little bit of extra help with um heat <laughs> or if you don't want to uh burn your hand or anything okay so let's go over here I'm gonna flip this away from my face the one hold it down and then I'm gonna bring it forward and then drag it down like we've been doing till this piece is forward and then just pull through so you have to go the opposite way I hope that makes sense And then you will see the curl. And if you want to just kind of straighten it, whatever, that looks, that doesn't look good. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. It looks really funky though. Down, bring it back and twist it forward. I'm just going to keep doing that over and over again. Again, it looks really weird on camera because I, when I saw the video, I was like, I'm not going to be able to do it. But then once you do it a few times, you'll get the hang of it. See, like this side does not curl the same as the other side. I don't know why. This one didn't come out good. Let me go back over it. Okay, there's a little one but it's, it's like it's barely any curl like it's not like the other side
feel like the curls are cool because they're more kind of like, um, like a little bit of a messier, more like bombshell kind of curl rather than so structured, which I like actually. Alright guys, so this is the completed result. Um, you kind of saw me uh, struggling a little bit at the end there to finish up this side. I don't know what it was, but I couldn't get this side to curl as much as this side. So this one looks a little bit, like I said, more like bombshell, messy. Um, kind of more of that like Victoria's Secret runway kind of look where this side is a little more structured of a curl. I definitely like both both styles but I would say maybe this side I favor a bit more just because I feel like and I'll stand up so you guys can see just because I like the length that it has on this side where you can see like look how much shorter this side is because the curls are more tighter and form. Other thing I struggled with a little bit was the front pieces over here or whatever is kind of just doing what it wants. You can't really control it too much and how it's going to come out. So it's kind of like a wild card. Like what is the curl going to look like? I really don't know. Um, so the front pieces I feel like aren't perfect. Like it looks a little bit, I don't know, like it needs to go back a little bit more like that. But I'm just kind of playing with it a little bit and um, just kind of mess around with, it with your fingers, straighten any pieces that look a little bit weird. Like this piece probably should have curled out more and it looks like it kind of curled in. Um, so it doesn't look as flattering. But overall, I think the curls formed nicely except for the side I had the more trouble with. But this side, I feel like the curls formed really beautifully and I'm actually shocked that a straightener can produce those kind of kind of results and I definitely will probably will use this guy again to curl my hair because I kind of like the just kind of messiness of it just like a bigger bolder kind of curl like it looks really full and voluminous by the reviews on Amazon tons of people said they love it for straightening as well um, so I definitely recommend this tool um, I know it's a bit more pricey but I do think because you have kind of a both features that definitely amps it up and makes it a lot more of a multi-purpose tool and I think the curls kind of speak for themselves I think they came out really nice I feel like they're gonna stay in um, I'll see how it is tomorrow I'm gonna sleep on it and I always kind of like my second day curls how they come out thank you to Feridian hopefully I'm saying that right for sending me over this curl near straightener in one thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed this little hair tutorial if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one